Lara Logan, I don't know how much of a mind she had before this, but she has completely lost it uh, either way. Yeah. I, I just... I, like she needs help i mean well yeah well let's not or a su- muzzle, one of the two. let's not sully the fun of this clip here please with like a sad <laughs> presentation about you know what what she needs because she went on with eric bowling i cannot believe that even like Speaking newsmax still has her on yeah um but she she spoke about uh the the open border and she, like there's just this mix of kind of I, very disturbing religious imagery of like demonic things. It's it's yeah. QAnon, but it's also uh, maybe her own delusions. Yeah, come to a Newsmax uh, to see two people whose personal lives are in absolute flames. Uh, talk about the world <laughs> and and projecting that onto like their onto their politics. It's right out of it's right out of the playbook. The right out of the socialist playbook. You divide and conquer. You don't tell them your intent. You get people to come in. You get your useful idiots. Those of us who are paying for these people to have all these luxuries and they lie about it. How does it end? Well, it (laughs) It ends badly for some. Um, Okay, so on a serious note, You know, people of all faiths have said to me that this is a spiritual battle. I am a firm and solid and immovable believer in God. And I believe that God wins. I believe that good is greater than evil. And I believe that the fallen angel, otherwise known as Satan, doesn't get Mm. to prevail in this world. So um, if you follow the Bible or if you follow the Quran or you follow uh, the Book of Mormon, you know, people talk in various different ways (laughs) about the end times. And if you fight for God, God will fight for you. But people, final, humanity... Final thought, Lara. Uh, <laughs> 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 Trying to cut her off. Because my, my audience is, is very God-fearing, God-loving, etc. Final thought. I only a couple of seconds, please. Uh, please. Does, Let's get back on track. Is God okay with a closed border? <laughs> <laughs> it's much bigger than that. God believes in, that in, in sovereignty and national identity and the sanctity of family... Sure. I need Title 42. ...from the beginning of time. And he knows that the open border is Satan's way of taking control of the world through all of these uh, people who are his stooges and his, and his uh, servants. And they may think that they're going to become gods. That's what they tell us. You all know Harari and, and all the rest of them at the World Economic Forum. You know, the ones who want us eating insects, cockroaches, and that mm. while they dine... Uh, on the blood of children. Yeah. Those are the people, right? Oh, yeah, right. They're not yeah. going to win. We all know we someone. They're not going to win. <laughs> well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He could he could barely contain himself there. He's like, uh, like, why did we? Why did we? This is even too crazy for Newsmax. I know. I she mean, was like, wrap it up, and yep. then she went into, "You really? want to? We, the lev wants you to eat cockroaches uh, while they dine on blood." But I really say, quickly, like, one more thing, Lara, before we go, <laughs> really quickly. It's, it's like a scoop one, here. One final show. thought. I just want to get that out there, just for so people can chew on chew on it the way that the left wants us to chew on cockroaches. Right. But I like Eric Bolin. Like, okay, this woman's crazy. I know what I'll ask her is, is God okay with the <laughs> open border <laughs> or the closed borders? Right. <laughs> go. I mean, God is in favor of all of, of the venture capitalist investment in drones that could potentially tase migrants if they tried to uh, to cross the border. That is heaven on high coming down to tase you. I do appreciate her basically classifying all Central and uh, South Americans as what did she call them? Satan stooges. I mean, that's the name of your Just, next punk band. That's yeah, the name of your next Satan punk band. Stooges. <laughs> we all know that one of the things that people who are fleeing their country bring into this into America as they cross the border is anime DVDs. Anime is very popular in Latin America. Uh, you know, Saint Seiya, uh, May Gundam series premiered in Lat Am markets before they appeared here, mm-hmm. and so. It's, it's undoubted that at least one in five migrants come across the border with a DVD of uh, the first season of Naruto dubbed into Spanish. And that's just how Satan enters the homes of everyday average Americans. Because yeah. uh, they leave it under your pillows, your children's pillows is, is what I've heard. I will say, though, I think it creates a very stark image to argue that migrants shouldn't receive any sort of assistance in front like, with like a chandelier in the background. <laughs> it would appear to just be like a legitimate like crystal chandelier and like you're just in your the, the sunroom of your like McMansion somewhere in a Florida, I can only assume, uh, and just be like, yep, no, God would never want, you know, people to get asylum fleeing like refugees. God never spoke on that. But let me tell you a little bit something that he did speak on, not eating bugs. 
God was, God was very clear about that. He didn't have Noah take one of two, one or one of each gender bug onto the, the boat. It was only cute animals. Yeah, I mean, I, can you imagine working your way up the elite ladder and then you nearing the rung where you have to start changing your diet to like baby blood? Like, what if you don't? Like it's a baby tough blood? transition, but uh, we all have the spirit of Beelzebub within us but that uh, will get us. Guys, I just had my first day at the World Economic Forum. I don't like what they're serving for lunch. Oh my gosh, I know, right? <laughs> and like, it's, like, also, it's like if it was vegan. You're a right winger. Like Blake Masters and JD Vance are literally funded by a guy who was in Vanity Fair with the uh, headline, Peter Thiel wants to inject himself with young people's blood. The Silicon Valley billionaire reportedly sees blood transfusions as a pathway to a radical life extinction. It's like, look the projection, guys. Although this is like a petty point about like not only QAnon, but a lot of like just evangelicals in like America. And that's not to say, you know, that's not to paint a broad brush about any large group of people or even say that it's bad to synchronize religions. But a lot of stuff that they're into is not really Christianity. You know, it's funny that she she shot out the Book of Mormon because that's yeah. another thing that we could get into <laughs> about like being about Christianity. But like as, you know, people who understand Christianity would understand it, a lot of what they focus on is like esoteric stuff. Like they're very into like like Gnosticism and like you know uh, Solomon's Book of Demons like stuff. Yeah. They like they're not so much into like the Bible so much as they're into like how they interpret the Bible through like a mix of like movies and popular culture that they have in you know basically retained through osmosis and then like also things that they hear online and then sometimes every so often they go to church because they're talking about stuff like bagul the eater of children i do not think that's in the bible like i'm pretty sure like you know stuff like they talk about is usually is like not like it didn't make the final cut of like the king james bible like you're doing this from no. just like online forums and like the movie sinister basically no no well they just like they just went back to like to you know pre-enlightenment days and like essentially borrowed what uh, people yeah. were, like you're a heretic you eat the drink the blood of, of ba well also we should say anti-semitic trope drink the blood of babies and you force us to eat cockroaches like man i mean all right well, it's just it's an old cut but i guess it, you play the hits for that audience so to speak I'm not religious, I mean, and so I know people used to eat bugs all the time before we like got urbanized. I know that you know humans start off as scavengers, so yeah. we were lucky to get some bugs. But I guess if you don't believe in evolution or anything, you don't realize that. So sometimes they do that on The Bachelor as like an icky date, but uh, I only watch that because I'm trying to uh, to want to to. Uh, beef up my my satanic understanding the bugs thing is a talking point uh you would see at the uh larushite green fascism conference too uh so uh it's interesting how all these things are starting to cohere a little bit right ahead of an election it's funny that yeah, you bring up the, them uh because matt matt you, it was making me laugh like you were like i'm not that interested in that but you brought it up a few times i feel like you've done some research stuff? yeah oh yeah, yeah i mean you just can't avoid it now yeah right yeah. <laughs> for somebody who like, watches a lot of like conspiracy theory stuff like you know deep conspiracy stuff online before q became popular it's actually been wild to watch a lot of stuff that's been around for a long time just like filter into like just be on fox news you know like just things like that normally you would only see on like the realms of the internet the deep dark web of the internet are just becoming like things that regular fox news contributors are kind of bringing onto their show yeah. and then of course you know centrist reporters didn't have to report on it like it's legitimate to do and they have their own conspiracies like Havana syndrome as well but it's like it's just people have just like seamlessly started putting stuff on that you would usually only hear from like a podcast that has like 50 listeners and it's just like oh yeah now this is just on right. the, the fox news now right like, that's Carlson. what you know QAnon was so good at it was basically yeah. taking all these conspiracy theories tying them all together and making sure you know none of them live on their own where they can sort of wilt away they all strengthened by each other um but this world economic forum thing it all stems from uh you know during the pandemic and the world economic forum put out these these like uh things that have become known now in conspiracy theory circles as the great reset and how you know you won't own anything and this bug thing is actually coming from that there was like an like a blog post or something about how uh you know a, 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 a eating bugs can help the climate in some way and there was like a study or something and the world economic forum shared it and of course this ties into their pre-existing feelings about the world economic forum from during the pandemic so that's probably where laura logan uh specifically got it for now these purposes today um but she has been 
been far gone for a very long time. And I don't even mean like just, you know, your generic uh, right wing grossness. I mean, she has been far conspiratorial for quite a while now. So, I mean, you know, Newsmax to have her on. They can't be feigned surprised that this is what turned out uh, when they talked to her. I mean, this is this is what you get. Yeah, I mean, I can't I still I can't believe she hasn't been like relegated to Mike Lindellville, but uh here we are.